Hello. Thank you for joining me for Noonday Prayer with the Saints. Today is Monday, March 8th, and we will be commemorating Jeffrey Octel Studdert Kennedy. Jeffrey was born in Leeds, England in 1883, one of nine children. His father, William Studdert Kennedy, was a vicar in Leeds. Jeffrey earned a degree in classics and divinity in 1904 at Trinity College, Dublin. After his ordination, he served parishes in Rugby and Win Worcester. At the outbreak of the First World War, Jeffrey volunteered as a chaplain to the soldiers on the Western Front. Along with the spiritual comfort he gave to the wounded and dying, he was famous for handing out Woodbine cigarettes to the soldiers who called him Woodbine Willie. He received the Military Cross in 1917 for conspicuous gallantry and devotion to duty during the attack on Messines Ridge on the Somme. He had volunteered for a number of tasks carried out under heavy fire, including bringing in three wounded men from the battlefield. One story that was told on the BBC tells of him crawling out to a working party, putting up wire in front of their trench. A nervous soldier challenged him, asking who he was, and he said, the church. When the soldier asked what church and what it was doing out there, he replied, its job. Jeffrey's religious poetry is represented in the lyric of the hymn, not here for high and holy things in the hymnal, 1982, hymn number nine. His verse, some based on his experience as wartime military chaplain, was published in the volumes Rough Rhymes of a Padre, 1918, and More Rough Rhymes, 1919. He also published a collection of sermons entitled, I Believe, Sermons on the Apostles' Creed in 1928. His later poems and prose express the Christian socialism and pacifism that he had adopted during his war years. Eventually, he worked for the Industrial Christian Fellowship on one of his speaking tours on their behalf, he became ill and died in Liverpool on March 8, 1929. March 8, 1929 remains a powerful influence on the pacifist cause and anti-capitalist critiques. And Jeffrey's many writings have inspired figures such as the former Archbishop of Cape Town, South Africa, Desmond Tutu, and German reform theologian, Jurgen Moltmann. Let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and our minds, and we'll begin the service for noonday prayer found on page 103 in your Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let's read together Psalm 121, found on page 104. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who watches over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Glorious God, we give thanks for high and holy things, as well as the common things of the earth. Awaken us to recognize your presence in one another and in all creation, so that we, like Jeffrey Stuttered Kennedy, may love and magnify you as the holy undivided Trinity, who lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Please join me reading the Noonday Prayer on page 106 as we read together the Our Father. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city where the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign now and forever. Amen. If you have any prayers, that you would like to say right now, any prayers for anyone or anything, go ahead and say them out loud, or if you'd like, you can type them in the chat. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me today. Go in peace. and I hope to see you again.